the container in which we use and what products we use uh, becomes uh, something that people have a lot of questions about. We have a bucket that's here, or we're going to use a cooler. Um, in terms of the holding container that we have, if we had a bucket like this, the one thing you would need to do, and it could be as simple as getting some insulation and putting it around the outside and getting some duct tape around it and keeping it where it will hold its temperature. Or we can use a cooler, or we can use, uh, that's a styrofoam cooler, or we can use those that you find, a galvanized bucket, any of those type things that we have. Here's a styrofoam cooler, one of these that's very simple that you can get. Um, you need to be a little bit careful maybe holding this in something uh, to make sure that it doesn't break or crack or that the, you don't lose your medium that's in that. And as we talk about the medium that we're going to use, what is going to cool these irons down to actually get it to the point to where we can freeze brand? There's basically two different types of processes that we can use to cool or chill these irons. What I have here is liquid nitrogen and that's the medium that I'm going to be using today. You can also use denaturized alcohol in combination with dry ice, antifreeze, or gasoline, and you can put those together and you can get that to where it will cool. The medium that you're going to have to have is dry ice. Typically a question we'll have is, well, how much dry ice do I need to get? You can typically go to a, a food market or any grocery store and typically find some of that. We'll say about 15 pounds if you're going to do a large number of animals. You'll put small chunks of dry ice that are in here and be careful not to hold that directly with your hands because it will burn. And you're going to put that liquid medium that we have, either the antifreeze, the gasoline, or the denaturized alcohol. And what I suggest is the denaturized alcohol in combination with the dry ice. You're going to put these irons into the vessel that you have holding your medium and typically what they're going to ask is, how long do I keep them in here? Well, let's say the first initial time that you're putting them in here is 10 minutes for them to cool to the temperature that's needed for the freeze branding. Now, obviously, as we go through the process and we take these different digits out and we use them, you're going to cool these down somewhat. So when you put them back into your medium, you're going to allow that to about four to five minutes as you put it back into this, in this area right here. So we've talked a little bit about the iron we use, the process that we use, uh, the vessels that we use to hold that in, and we'll sit there and we'll work through the rest of it as we go shoot side and we work with freeze branding an animal. Now we're actually, and I told you earlier that the medium we're going to use is liquid nitrogen. I'm going to pour it directly some into this bucket right here. Um, I would probably go up to about this far where we're making sure that these letters, remember I told you they're a half inch thick, but they're submerged where they're about up to here in terms of the liquid nitrogen. When you have this, this is the same thing as that dry ice. This can burn you, okay? So you need to be a little bit careful not to get this on you, um, but you're gonna go ahead and pour that in here. What I've used here, and the way you transport this liquid nitrogen, this is a shipping semen tank. And so it is designed to hold liquid nitrogen. The location that you typically can get these is from any area that maybe has where you buy your semen um, or where any of those bull studs that might have those type things or any place that might have liquid nitrogen. For, for those of you involved in the cattle world, that's probably the easiest place to go. When you have it in here, you're gonna see that it's gonna be smoking. And it's also going to be bubbling as we have it in here. And I've got this, this uh, number in here. I'm going to submerge this for 10 minutes. Uh, we're going to go out to shoot side and we're going to put some identification on a particular heifer in the chute. <laughs> 